when, uh, the beginning of direct with this witness, he was asked, did you kill these women? No, and his, his reaction got a lot of people's attention because it was either overacting or it was strange, let's put it that way. And, and who knows how the jury's gonna take it. Do you expect the end of the cross being a redo there, try to get under his skin one way or another so that the lasting impact for the jury is, hmm, is this guy telling the truth? She doth protest too much, as Shakespeare said. Yes, I believe this guy looks like a stick of dynamite about to explode, right? Uh, and he's getting very, <clears throat> very snippy. So I, I'm, I'm hoping, my entertainment side is hoping that he explodes <laughs> and we get some answers because I, right now, watching this trial, I don't know if this defendant was the person who killed these, uh, these women. So I think he might explode. He does seem like he's about to explode. He looks like a gangster. <laughs> I mean, this is like if watching Breaking Bad uh, was extended for a seventh season and everybody got arrested and everybody survived and everybody started testifying. This is what it would look like. Uh, you're not Ooh, wrong Breaking that it Bad. feels like uh, almost movie characters because of the way that they're able to be so transparent about this side of their life, the <laughs> gangs and the motorcycle clubs and the drug trafficking, but the murder is what we're here about. So it's fascinating to see it all unfold, this small town mystery.